the Al-Assad regime has forced all nations to war under its command and for its benefit. No matter if you are Arab, Kurd, Armenian, Assyrian, Chechen, or Chechen, you would speak the Arabic language and learn Arabic history for a nationalist Arabic perspective. Even if you work, you would not decide what you want to spend your money for. You even forced, you were even forced to invest your money on what the government choice uh, decided or to need it. The situation in Syria was not disconnected from the other parts of the world, where the regimes are controlled by the capitalists. Even though Al-Assad was always talking in the name of the workers and about solidarity, the reality was completely different from what he claimed. The system was centralized. The law, as well as every section of production and economy, were controlled by Al-Assad and according to the interests of the ruling elite and hegemonic countries. It is worth to mention that were no opposition or opposing parties or movements because anybody who would dare to oppose the state would face brutal repression by either killing, imprisonment, ecological neglect, and hunger and explosion. The revolution in Syria and in Rojava was an outcry for the people in Rojava to return to live, to seek freedom, and to claim to organize free, democratic, ecological communities in which every religion, ethnicity, and social group, no matter how many they are in the number, can be present and manage themselves with a free, ethical commonwealth. For a long time, the people of Rojava have had suffered enough from the totalitarian and military ruling system. So being at the side of the regime was no option for us. On the other hand, the so-called opposition, which, which is strongly influenced by the imperialist power and turned out to be the hidden face of the regime, was no better choice for us. The citizens of Rojava knew that both sides were fighting to gain power and control over Syria. Both sides had been uh, serving the interests of the capitalist countries, not the people.